We spend so much time at work, 40 plus hours a week in this building. And so we have to make sure that the building has features that makes it easy to be healthy, makes the healthy choice the easy choice. So stairwell placement, how your office is designed, opportunities to meet other people socially during the day. Those are all aspects that make a building healthy. So we're looking at physical activity and sedentary behavior. They say sitting is the new smoking now and, and people have long commutes and sit in their cars and then come and sit at their desks and uh, it's very unhealthy. Even if you exercise, we are using accelerometry to measure physical activity during the day. So we collected baseline data of people who are moving, staying, and then a control group to see how much they move during the day and how the new building and features in the new building may influence how much they sit and move. We'll be analyzing the, the survey data. We did stair observations, how many people use the stairs versus the elevators, and we anticipate that that will change because the stairwells are designed so differently here. Giving people the opportunity to uh, raise their workstation uh, and stand for a while while they work, and just the, the way the three buildings are situated and the cafe in the new building is causing people to come over and meet with people in the forum. One of the components that we're studying is collaboration and organizational behavior and how people feel about their culture of work is really important to their, their social health. And so having the opportunities to have supportive coworkers and develop these relationships is very important to mental health and social health. Can you take a little break from your, your workspace and is there a place to go outside or inside that sort of will revitalize you? This is the interior garden. Two stories of glass windows and the plants really give it a, a sort of a peaceful place. There's been some studies that show negative impact of increased exposure to fluorescent light without exposure to the outside. And so this building was designed to utilize as much natural light as possible. Glass windows, a lot of people don't even have their office lights on during the day because there's so much uh, natural light. So much thought of these things were put into the, the new design of the building. We're just, you know, we're an evidence-based school, so we're looking at the evidence of how these things influence health of the occupants of the building.